And number 13 is The Simpsons Game. This game has been delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store. And without further ado, let's see a trailer of The Simpsons Game. Been, been delisted off the Xbox 360 store and is not backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. Yes, this is one of my, um, this is a good, real, one of my favorite Xbox 360 games to play, man. I can't believe they delisted it like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Just, uh, this is a great game to have for, for them to delist it the way they did, man. But, um, yeah, this game is delisted. It's not backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. I cannot tell you why, because I'm thinking it's got something to do with licensing issues, man. Like they probably lost the license to uh, do the Simpsons. Yep. All right, let's get to number two, or number 14. Number 14 is The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. This game has been delisted off the Xbox 360 store. And it's, it's a shame because I'm a big uh, Walking Dead fan. But, and this game is actually not bad. It's actually a good game. You know, it's got some parts in it that's, you know, not too great as far as the controls go. But other than that, it's actually a good game. But without further ado, let's get into a trailer of The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. You see it? Yeah, this is like Dixon. Still, it comes um, at me. You watch when I don't you know why you did this. Okay? Well, I guess a lot of people didn't get into Walking Dead Survival Instincts because it was a first-person shooter. Even though I like the Telltale games better, this one ain't bad either. Not bad at all. Let's get this one. Blood. Is there blood always this black? Don't care, man. Just trying to get up out these trenches. There's uh, up ahead. He's signaling. Cut through the trees to see what he wants. All right, all right, all right. Okay. What bud? Uh, what are you? What are you? Shit. There he is. Uh, I didn't crouch down, so I might have made too much noise. Best you crouch to keep quiet. Well, I don't know, man. Be sneaking less noisy. Yeah, but where is he at, though? But, well, there he is. Let's see if I can catch him. I know I shot that guy. Right Sprint back to Westman and turn to help. All right, y'all. Let's get into number three. Oh, I said number three. Let's get into number 15, man. Number 15, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the Xbox 360. It has been delisted. And that's sad because... Man, I think that they, well, from what I'm hearing, they made an Xbox One version, like, not too long ago. I, I don't know because I haven't seen it. I heard they made a, a physical copy of, of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for the Xbox One. I'm not 100% sure. Y'all let me know in the comments below. But I do know that the 360 version of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 has been delisted. Without further ado, let's see a trailer of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Delisted. Let's get this party started. It's do or die. Yeah. Fight! Can't believe they did this. Let's do it. Oh, fast. My sight. Oh, 
that was a fast pass. Yeah. Excuse me, baby. I'm just waiting. Not half bad. Good luck. Get to number sixteen. Unskilled. Number sixteen is Blue Dragon, and these are the games that I'm getting into that are backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. So Blue Dragon has been delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store, but if you have a physical disc, it is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. So without further ado, let's get into a small clip of Blue Dragon, Xbox 360, backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X, delisted. Yes, this is my first JRPG that I got into that I actually like. You know, my brother uh, actually put me onto it. You know, I, I love Dragon Ball Z, so... You know, this is probably a game I would actually like, so, you know, I'm like, all right, let me try it. I ain't gonna lie, when I first played, I couldn't play for, for damn, I couldn't play for nothing. Yeah, man, this is a great, great game, man. I just cannot believe that they delisted this and it's backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. I'm just glad I own a physical copy, man. That's what physical copies are good for. So when these games disappear off the digital store forever, you still can go and play this anytime you want to because you have a physical copy of the game. So that's what's good about physical copies. Even though we are starting, we are very close to having no physical copy games being made no more. The land shark is coming! You know, I really platform. don't care. But I am because I'm, I was uh, I come from an era of the Where are you? Atari 2600 and all that shit on up. Yeah, physical copy has always been a part of my life because you can always go back and play those games whenever you want to. Now I ain't gonna lie, for systems like PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, and all that on down, all the way to the Atari and all that. Those real, those games really I'd rather play on some type of emulation device that can play on my TV. You know, I don't want to have ten systems hooked up to like five different TVs. It's ridiculous, man. I'm straight on that, man. I like my shit to be condensed. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into number seventeen. All right. Number 17 is Batman Arkham Origins, which is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. But this game has been recently delisted off the Xbox 360 store. So without further ado, let's get into a clip of Batman Arkham Origins, Xbox 360 delisted, but is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. You better move the person you're telling it to. Yeah. 
This is delisted. I can't believe they delisted it. But this is delisted. So, I'm going to tell you the truth, though. I'm glad it's backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X, man. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, out of all the bad, I, I I ain't never beat part one, I ain't never beat part two. And I barely played them. I played a little bit of them, but I, you know when I got the Batman Arkham series, you know I played a little bit of part one, but it was mainly my sons that played Batman and all that. I just recently, well I ain't gonna say recently, just about a few years back, I really you know started. I like I played the first one and I liked it, but I never got a chance to play through it. But when I played this one. When I played the second one, the second one was even better, you know, but it, it, it was really, really good. I used to watch my sons play it all the time. But, for some reason, they really didn't advertise this one like that, but I went and bought this one, and when I bought it, it was real, real dope, man, to me. And I just couldn't believe the reviews I was seeing and everything. You know, I understand that everybody ain't gonna like every game, but this game is doper than what people uh, make it out to be, man. You know, I think people hating on it for whatever reason, but... Anyways, it is uh, backwards compatible, so it, it, even though it's delisted, I can see the price shooting up in this game and, and the other backwards compatible games real soon, man. So if you ain't got a, a hard copy of this, hurry up and go get a hard copy, man. You know, you, this game is definitely worth it, man. It's worth getting a hard copy of this, man. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. What? What? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. I guess, you know, people get so caught up in the storyline and all that stuff, but this game is just as good. It might the story might not be as good as the first one and the second one. Just, you know, and I and I can see why, but in my opinion, it's just as good as the first one and the second one. So, you know, I like it. Without further ado, let's get into number 18. Number 18, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition is a dope-ass Mortal Kombat game. It's the only Mortal Kombat game that you can play Freddy Krueger in, in the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. And this also has been delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store. So without further ado, let's get into some gameplay footage of Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Xbox 360 has been delisted, but it is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. Round one, fight. This is a great game. But, uh, I'm pretty sure most people played this Mortal Kombat for those last 360. It's the Mortal Kombat 2011. But it, it has been delisted off the store, so, you know. If you ain't got a physical disc and you haven't bought it digitally yet, you will not be able to play this anymore. And me, personally, I love the characters on here. The characters are, are some of the dopest characters to me. To me, because they put Freddy Krueger on here, this is the best Mortal Kombat you can play. Let's get into number. Number 19 is Halo 4. Halo 4 has also been delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store, but it is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. So as long as you got a physical disc, you good. Without further ado, let's see a clip of Halo 4 delisted from the Xbox 360 store, but backwards compatible with it with the Xbox Series X if you got the physical disc. Where are we? And so you come at last. Cortana, what is it? Been delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store. This is delisted. This is a delisted game, so just know that. The last game that we're talking about is Call of Duty Ghost number 20. This game 
is backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X, but it is delisted off the Xbox 360 digital store. So without further ado, let's see a trailer of Call of Duty Ghost for the Xbox 360 delisted off the store, but backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. Yep, this is another really, really dope Xbox well, 360 this, this game. This is a deep story. Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. This was coming to uh, America. Delisted well, off the Xbox 360. So safe, man. The one? Ain't nobody safe nowhere right now, especially when war is happening. Delisted. We started to pick up too. Off the Xbox 360 digital when store. Before war gets started, nobody's never safe. Anything can pop off. I guess I'm running with my dad and my brother. Damn. Yeah. It's chaos out here right now. Real dope. Yep. Yeah, I figure um, I'll make my own trailers for my games, man. Come on, Logan. I'm going, man. Go. What the hell is going yeah. on? Can't play this without a physical disc on your Xbox Series X. Or your Xbox One or your Xbox 360. Unless you already digitally downloaded. Before it went delisted. Which I doubt it. Most people did not digitally download Call of Duty Ghost before it went delisted. All right, thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank y'all for um, every all the support that y'all give me, man. And until next time, y'all too old to be playing video games.